In video 1, you learn already what is direct variation. In video 2, you learn joint variation. And in video 3, we learn about the inverse variation. So for this video, we are going to learn how to determine the relation between three or more variables for a combined variation. Before we discuss the example, first we need to know what is combined variation. Combined variation actually is variation that combine the direct variation and inverse variation. Let us look at example 1. It is given that y varies directly as square of s and inversely as square root of z. So means if I write the variation is like this. y varies directly as square of s. y varies inversely as square root of z. Okay, so now we need to combine these two variations into a variation. So what happened? It will become y varies directly as square of s inversely as square root of z. So inversely you put at the bottom. Okay, directly you put at above. Okay, so first equation is y equals k s square over square root of z. Now, when you have the equation, you can find the value of constant. When you, after you find the value of constant, then only you can express y in terms of s and z. Okay. So, to find the value of constant, you need to substitute the value of y, value of s, and value of z. Value of y is 30. Value of s is 3. And the value of z is 9. Okay, so 30 equals k bracket 3 to the power of 2 over square root of 9. And 30 equals 9k over 3 because 3 square is 9. So 9 times k, 9k. Square root of 9 is equals 3. Okay, so now 30 times 3 equals 9k, 9k equals 90, k equals 10. And you express y in terms of s and z, y equals 10 s squared over square root of z. Okay, now we answer b, calculate the value of y when s equals 6 and z equals 64. So y equals 10 s squared over square root of z. Now we substitute the value of s equals 6 and z equals 64. Okay, so y equals 10 bracket 6 over 6 power of, so y equals bracket 10 bracket 6 to the power of 2 over square root of 64. And from calculator, you can get y equals 45. Example 2. The table below shows some values of the variable p, q, and r. Given that p varies directly as square root of q, inversely as r. Express p in terms of q and r. For this one, they give you the variation already, so quite simple, you just write in equation. Okay, when p varies directly as square root of q, inversely as r, when you write it in equation, you write p equals k times square root of q over r, correct or not? So you also can write as k square root of q over r. 
cos k times square root of q. Okay, so now, first step as usual, you need to find the value of k. When you find the value of k, make sure you have the complete value of p, q, and r. So which part you have complete value of p, q, r? Can you use this part? Of course cannot because the value of r is a variable, is m. So what is the value of m? We cannot get. When we cannot get, we cannot get the value of constant also. Okay, so first you substitute p equals 12, q equals 25, and r equals 5 into the equation to find the value of constant. So 12 equals k square root of 25 over 5. Then 12 equals 5k over 5. k equals 12. After you obtain k equals 12, don't forget write the complete equation. So p equals 12 square root of q over r. This is complete equation. This is express p in terms of q and r. Okay, b. Calculate the value of m. Okay, after we have the complete equation, then we can find the value of m. Okay, so when p equals 6, q equals 36, and r equals m, can get 6 equals 12 square times square root of 36 over m. Okay, so 12 times 6 because square root of 36 equals 6. 12 times 6 is equal 72. So 6m equals 72. m equals 72 divided by 6. m equals 12. That's all for today. I hope you understand what is combined variation. Actually, quite simple. You just combine the direct variation and inverse variation. Okay, that's all for today. See you.